Nanu? Ah, it's you. Come on in, come on in. Welcome to my crib. Welcome to my cave. So first of all, I do own a lot of hats and caps which are hanging all over the room. Several baker boys, a boater, several bowlers, top hats, a deer stalker, you know the drill. Something else I like to hang on my walls is Art Nouveau. I'm a big fan of Alphonse Mucha. Let's have a look at the furniture. This cabinet is a Gründerzeit piece from Belgium. I got this via eBay AdWords. It was moderately expensive since someone needed to drive it from Belgium to Cologne. I think I paid around 300 euros, but totally worth it. I'm maintaining a small minibar inside the cabinet. I do prefer American and Irish whiskey. Sometimes I have a bottle of scotch in there too, though. So maybe you've noticed something odd about these series of books. Well, at some point they were a complete encyclopedia from my grandparents, but nothing fancy. And well, since the knowledge is very much outdated, but the boards of the books look nice, I uh, took off the boards and now I'm hiding things like my corset in there or other things that are not as pretty as the rest of my interior. So it's basically just a wooden, wooden box and I hot glued yeah, well, the boards of the books to the wooden box. Moving on to the next piece. This dresser here is a German Gründerzeit piece, so late 19th century too. Picked it up via eBay AdWords for around 50 euros, if I recall correctly. I store my pocket squares in the top drawer. The golden baroque style frame here acts as a highlight on the dark wall. I put the mirror in there myself. Speaking of golden, look at this ceiling light. A little bit over the top, but I love it. So let's go through my open wardrobe real quick. This is my Harris Tweed Inverness cape. I made it from a bit of Sherlock project. You can watch the according videos on my channel. Then we have a true vintage 1910s French frock coat. I don't wear very often. It's a heavy flannel, but I'm always afraid of damaging it. Then there is a modern MTM morning coat. I want to try altering it so it looks vintage. Maybe I'll make a video about that. This is my latest edition, a bespoke suit made for me by Edwin Spahic according to a 1910s pattern system. Behind that we have my first bespoke suit by Sebastian Hofs, German pattern system from 1920. This suit is a regular guest on my Instagram profile. Then my second bespoke suit, also made by Sebastian Hofs, according to a German pattern system from 1920. Then behind that, my current tailoring project, a 1820s tailcoat, waistcoat, pantaloons and shirt are also on the hanger. Behind that is the first waistcoat uh, I made for myself ever, actually. In the bottom row we have a modern dark blue double-breasted summer suit. Then we have a 1940s hunting jacket reproduction made from tweed, lovely patch pockets on here. A modern three-piece suit made from thick Vitale Barberis flannel. A modern grey double-breasted suit, great all-rounder. And finally a greyish-brown summer three-piece suit, also quite modern. And here's Rupert. Behind Rupert you can see my paravent. It served me very well on the old flat because of all the white walls and ugly backgrounds there. It's a nice backdrop for video production and still comes in handy from time to time. Now 
Now these are two 1950s reproductions of Chippendale style armchairs. Again got them on eBay AdWords. I think I paid 20 euros a piece, super comfy. I'm very happy I found them, especially how they contrast the dark wall. The picture in the back is a cheap print of Karl Spitzweg's Biedermeier painting called Auf der Alm. Please don't take a closer look, it will be replaced with one or two proper oil paintings eventually. The small one is a Rembrandt called Stahlmeisters. The side table is something modern again, but I think the marble fits in very well. On there you will usually find my current reads. Yeah, so this is my desk. This is how it looks uh, when everything is turned on. From my perspective, uh, we got my, my microphone, my laptop, my monitor. The monitor is mounted on the wall. I put a, um, an old wooden picture frame on the monitor that I found on a flea market. Trust me, the picture in it was ugly, but the frame was nice. I uh, cut it down to the correct size of the monitor. I have my motivational memes up there. My, my banker's lamp. I do have a keyboard and a mouse that do not look vintage or I don't know steampunky at all. I know that there are versions um, around that do look like a bit at least a bit more steampunk um, but as but since I do have to work on these on a daily basis I do prefer a proper mouse and a proper keyboard. The camera is usually sitting here. The Key light is usually on, so let me show you in a second how it looks from our usual perspective. Now it looks like this. Uh, let me turn on the, the key light. Et voila. But let's continue with the room tour now. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, under the monitor on the left side, I also have a little docking station hidden inside the board of an old book. Yeah, but that's actually it. Now you've seen it all, so hush hush, out of here, don't forget to subscribe, see you next time, bye!